Now you can see the wax plug right there. Now normally what you do is you'd shove that out from the other side and the uh, glue would come out. However, the CA glue hardened almost instantly before I had a chance to really shove the, anything out there and so I think I'm going to drill it out and uh, on this one here it's completely covered over. We'll see how it goes here. Now you probably already noticed that this particular barrel trimmer shaft is also a cutter and if you're not careful you can accidentally enlarge the inside of the brass tube and then your parts are going to be loose and you're going to have to glue them in instead of press them in. Now I know it takes a little extra time to set up the vacuum system and put the bright light behind everything so that the light will reflect off the top of the brass tube as soon as the cutter touches it. However, it pays off in the end because if you accidentally make your blank too short, well, your parts aren't going to fit right, especially pen parts. We are now at the place where we're going to find out if those homemade wooden bushings of mine are actually going to work. I have never done this before, and it's possible that I'll never do it again. I'm going to know in a few minutes. I can see here that one of those blanks has a pretty noticeable crack here and I didn't stabilize those blanks with the cactus juice so it's not all glued together if you know what I mean. So I'm going to have to be pretty careful here not to get too exuberant with my chisel. I find that if I switch to my narrow scraper at this point, I can do a much more accurate job, that is turning the ends down to the bushings. After the 220 grit, I used 400 grit, then 600 grit. But I think I'm going to do the very ends by hand. Well, sort of by hand.
Now you probably noticed there was quite a bit of wobble there when I was using this bolt. Well that's because this bolt is about two sizes too small. And there was a lot of play inside the brass tube. What I needed was a quarter inch bolt like this. But then the head would have been too big. So I machined the head down on another one and we'll give that a try. Well, it's some better, but not very much. I think I just wasted a bolt, but I had some fun. Now, my homemade mandrel actually turned out to be a lot better than I thought it was at first, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Probably be able to use it sometime, maybe when I'm making a slimline pen or something like that that has a quarter-inch ID brass tube. I've put everything back on the lathe here. I know I probably could have applied the polish using the electric drill. It would have worked, but this works a lot better. It's a lot faster, and I'm more used to it. I gave it a total of four applications of the polish. I've found that that's enough. In fact, it doesn't really change much after the first one. Well, maybe a little bit more glossy, I guess. And I guess tomorrow we'll be pressing everything together and see what it's going to look like. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.